First possession, 14-30 left in the first quarter. Trips left, one right. Third down in three for the Mustangs at their own 32. Shotgun snap, Brash turns, throws it deep down the left side for Coleman, who makes a diving catch down at the 40 into Grizzly territory. A full extension, diving grab, and the Mustangs convert on the first third down of the game. Third and eight for the Mustangs at their own 15. They're one for three on third down. Montana blitzes. Brash to throw. Steps up. Has time. Delivers right. Caught by centers. Past the first down marker. Past the 20, the 25. And out of bounds on the far sideline. And the Mustangs move the chains. Say, do the receivers have the much better advantage running in the snow, partner? Running in the snow, it's going to be tough. Like I said, you're dealing with a crust of snow and then underneath and perhaps a different field turn. So here we go. Second and goal at the 10. Johnson in the gun. Play action. Looks to throw. Has time. Throws it for the end zone. Tipped by Javion Cole and incomplete third and goal from the 10 for the Montana offense. Javion Cole's first snap back after he was uh, banged up by the staircase in the first quarter. What a play to come in and break that play up. That was a close call to a touchdown. Very well could have been an interception as well as he got that hand in there. Ramos boots it right to left, end over end, and Hall will catch it at the 1, racing past the 5, up past the 10, cuts at the 20, has room at the 30, out at the right sideline, past the 40, racing near midfield before he's pushed out of bounds, a return of over 40 yards for Cal Poly to set their offense nice and pretty, pretty close to midfield. Pretty close to midfield, and I was getting worried for a second. I thought they were going to plow the other end zone at that timeout break. We don't know exactly where that end zone line is, so it should be a clear touchdown when uh, Cal Poly gets it because they're not going to get any help on review outside of the pylons. Second and three at the Mustang 27. Johnson high snap, brings it down for night. Now Alex actually throws it left end zone, and it's tipped up incomplete. It was Javion Cole who knocked it away from Mitch Roberts. He was going to put it in the belly of his running back and instead decided to throw it left, and it's an incomplete pass. And a great coverage by, again, another freshman DB for Cal Poly. That's predicted taking a shot at the end zone there. And again, just... I'm not sure if that has ball plates in, but it is a bad idea to throw JV on Cole as he got the breakup in the first place. Play action, Johnson throws slant. It is intercepted. Cal Poly jumps in front of the Johnson throw. It's Jamari Jackson. Tied and trued, dealing with injuries throughout his Cal Poly career. Comes through and picks it off in the end zone. A goal line stand for the Cal Poly defense. What an interception. Senses that inside slant coming. They've gone to it about four times in the red zone tonight. Just jumps the route, gets his hands there, and it's just right into his gut. Didn't need to even trust his hands beautiful play and a great recovery from injury that that's what you want to see there a big bounce back Trips right, one wide to the left, third and nine for the Mustang offense. They're three of ten on third down. High snap for Brash, steps up, wants to go deep, evades the pressure, rolls right outside the pocket, points, throws, completed for a Mustang, first down and more. Centers, cuts in at the 35, makes a man miss at the 40, still on his feet, drags on the near sideline down on a first down catch for the fiery Zedekiah Centers right at the 45. A big first down catch of 24 yards from Centers delivered from Brash.